President Trump indicated late Friday that he would see to the release of all records compiled during the investigation into the assassination of former President John F. Kennedy, with some redactions, in order to put any and all conspiracy theories to rest. I will be releasing all JFK files other than the names and addresses of any mentioned person who is still living, Trump announced in a tweet, saying he consulted with White House Chief of Staff John Kelly John Francis Kelly Moore, the CIA and other federal agencies. I am doing this for reasons of full disclosure, transparency and in order to put any and all conspiracy theories to rest, Trump added. JFK files pic.twitter.com ambush 3J, Donald J. Trump at real Donald Trump October 28, 2017 Trump tweeted earlier Friday that he hoped just about everything concerning the 1963 assassination of JFK would be released to the public. The Trump administration released about 2,800 files late Thursday, with the White House saying that hundreds more would be released with redactions only in the rarest of circumstances on a rolling basis over the next six months. Trump initially said on Thursday evening that he had no choice but to withhold information as requested by government agencies, citing national security concerns. Officials indicated that the concerns originated mostly from the CIA and FBI. Thursday marked the federal government's deadline to release 3,100 unseen files, a deadline that was set by Congress under the President John F. Kennedy Assassination Records Collection Act of 1992. The documents have been held in the National Archives. Attorney General Jeff Sessions Jefferson Jeff Beauregard Sessions Dallas Morning News Cornyn betrays GOP by backing Roy Moore overnight regulation Trump declares opioids a public health emergency Mark Kelly lobbied skull eyes on guns Warren Rips plans to ease bank oversight coal industry advocate tapped for mining regulator bipartisan groups call on DOJ to scrutinize a Time Warner merger Moore said in a Fox News interview on Friday evening that the administration was working to expedite the release of the additional documents. We are working this weekend. We are going to be working every way possible to expedite the production of these documents as completely as possible and they will be virtually, completely revealed from the FBI files, he said. The assassination of Kennedy, who was shot by Lee Harvey Oswald while the president was in a motorcade in Dallas, has been the subject of conspiracy theories for more than 50 years. Rep. John Lewis DGA, a longtime congressman who befriended Kennedy during the civil rights movement in the 1960s, told The Hill this week that he'd IDNT think the latest document release would end questions about the 35th president's death. I think there will be people, be historians or scholars and writers, who would raise some questions about what happened and how it happened, Lewis said. There will be people saying, like they were saying 50 years ago, why did Kennedy go to Texas, why Dallas?